Hey, welcome back. And in this video, we're gonna look at a really interesting technique that you are gonna be able to use with the question and answering AI model that we covered in our previous video. But this time we're gonna use that to take data that you've got from a kind of typical API or database type format and we're gonna convert it into English and then be able to ask questions against our data. Now, I think it's a super interesting technique and I think you will be able to start using that against your own data sets really, really quickly. To get started, what I thought we would do, which would be a bit of fun, is we will open up Hugging Face again, and then I'll show you what I mean by that. And then once that works, we will go and then sort of code it up in Python really quickly. And then of course you can use that in JavaScript and stuff uh, later on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up uh, my browser, and we're gonna go to Hugging Face, just like we did in the previous video. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the question and, and answering filter, as you can see, and I'm gonna pick one of the existing models. It doesn't really matter which one I'm used, but I'll, I'm gonna use the BERT uh, large uncased, the same model as we used the last time. And then, as you can kind of see before, with Hugging Face, you can, you can ask a question, but you need to put the text of what you want to ask a question against. So I thought it would be interesting, and I'll show you how this is gonna work, but I thought it'd be interesting to be able to ask questions of data sets, like things like schedules. So as everyone probably has figured by now, I'm a huge NFL fan, so I thought what could be useful is imagine I had a ball where I were able to ask questions about the NFL schedule. So you could imagine me typing in something like, uh, in week one of the NFL season, Tampa Bay uh, Buccaneers play the Dallas Cowboys, and I can never remember when it is, so I'm just gonna sort of steal this text actually from here. Um, we'll just put it in here. So in week one of the regular NFL season, Tampa Bay Buccaneers play Dallas Cowboys in Tampa, Florida at the Raymond James Stadium on September the 10th, 2021 at 8 p.m. Eastern time. So that's the kind of context, but as you can imagine, I can start asking questions of that now. So if I was to type in something like, who are the Dallas Cowboys? playing in week one, we can just hit compute. It'll take a second and then it'll come back with Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But I can also ask things like, when are the Dallas Cowboys playing in week one? And then it's gonna come back and say, it's September the 10th. So it's looked at this and figured out September the 10th. I can even ask what time are the Dallas Cowboys playing at? 8 p.m. Eastern time. And I can also ask it, who are Tampa playing in week one? And it should come back with the Dallas Cowboys. So that's the model. And if you think about what I've done here is I've taken data that I could be getting from an API and then I could be converting that in English to ask questions. Really powerful technique, right? Just think about the data that you've got right, that's kicking around, it could be in a database format or an API format. Imagine you took that data and you just converted that into an English text type form and then suddenly you can start asking questions about it. So good use cases of that could be, well, you just seen on this one, it could be used for any type of scheduling algorithms, right? So you could imagine things like appointment systems, booking systems, right? You could just then start saying which slots are available, you know, when do you have a free appointment? Because all you would need to do is take that data for that appointments or bookings and then just write it out, convert it into a format that is English, right? So you could have, you know, um, the, the following booking slot is available at between 8 p.m. and 8.30 p.m. for uh, whatever, right? And, and then you can start asking questions. When, what slots have you got available? You know, have you got a slot at 8 p.m.? Absolutely huge. And then again, you can imagine this being used in completely different 
industries. Imagine banking bank statements for a second, right? Think about your account statement that you have in your banking form, right? It could be, at the moment, it's something like, you know, here's the day, you know, paid electricity bill, um, 20 pounds on whatever day. Or you can imagine your direct debits. You've got a direct debit or a standing order. You know, money comes out of this account at 2 p.m. on, on uh, the 15th of August, pay electricity bill on the 17th of August. Now, once that's contextualized, you take that data out of your database or your API, convert it into an English format, you can start asking questions. Imagine being able to ask your bank account, you know, <laughs> when does my electricity bill come out? What, you know, have I made a payment to the water company this month? How much have I paid to um, whoever, right, um, to my, you know, Aunt Dora, for example, you, you know, and you could just ask those questions and then, it, you know, because the data that you've had has been translated into English, you could just query things in the exact same ways we've done here. Okay, so now that you've got the context, how do I then convert that into English? Well, well, actually, let's use my NFL example for a second. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull an API that, that we've sort of uh, had before. Um, so if I were to go to, I think if I take the ESPN uh, API, um, you can see ESPN has got uh, an API which um, essentially returns back a sort of JSON version of the schedule and I can put in dates and queries behind that. Now that is pretty unreadable so if I just bring this up in something like Postman for a second, if you've never used Postman before, it's an API Explorer tool. Um, it's pretty cool, it's free and, and you can just start utilizing that. So um, as you can see, I've had that open up already. So um, just for a bit of fun, I'm gonna create a new HTTP request. I'm just gonna paste in the API that I showed you before. I'm gonna click send. And then you can see it's coming back with uh, the formatted data. So you can see in this case, it tells me uh, the various dates, etc. But if I were to look for, let's just uh, find um, Tampa in this case. You can see here's an event, uh, Dallas Cowboys at Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And then it's got all the information I would need. It's got the date, it's got the uh, the stadium that it's playing at, the state, the, uh, it's got the capacity as well. Who's playing? Tampa Bay's at home, uh, Dallas Cowboys are away. So there's, there's my data. And then all I really need to do if you think about it, let me just close this down for a second, is I all I really need to do is uh, just parse that API into English format. So if I bring up Visual Studio Code, um, I've pre-written this. You don't want to watch me sort of type this out, but but the quick version is what I'm gonna, gonna do is I've sort of uh, taken that JSON file, I've stuck it in this regular week one JSON for a second. So it's the exact same JSON you saw before. I've just put it in a file. And then what I'm doing here is I'm reading that file, so that regular week one JSON, which is the same data that we got from the API earlier. And then I'm just uh, parsing that. So I do a JSON parse, and then I'm gonna call my parse schedule uh, function. And then if you look in this, all it's gonna do is, there's a little bit of date calculation. Remember I showed you when it was being played, it's a little bit of a date calculation, but all it's gonna do is loop through all of the week one uh, matches there for a second, or events in this case. It's gonna do a bit of conversion to get the date and time. And then you can see I'm using a bit of template literals in Node.js just in JavaScript to say in week, blah, I'm passing in week, match type, da da da, you know, and then I'm saying who the home team is, I'm, and I'm saying they're playing against the away team, the game is being played in, uh, you know, in Tampa Bay, uh, in Florida, at the stadium, the game will be played on the formatted date at the formatted time, Eastern time. So I'm just doing that, and then if I was to run this very quickly, so if I type in node schedule to text, you can see uh, it's just generated in text format, um, the textual representation of that data. So if I was to take that, let's just copy that. And we, if we come back into uh, hugging face for a second, and now if I get rid of that, that, that sort of one in week one example, I could paste every game. So in the same way, 
is it was coming back with uh, Dallas Cowboys before. Uh, when I asked who are Tampa playing in week one, that still is the same answer. But now I can ask questions about any of the teams. So if I want to know who New York Giants are playing, I can just type in New York Giants and uh, hit compute. And then you will see the New York Giants are playing, it will take a second, the Denver Broncos. And then I can uh, change New York Giants to Denver Broncos and we can hit boom and then it should come back with the New York Giants which it does and then we can say we can we can ask uh, what the things like what time is the New York Giants uh, playing at in week one right we can find out what time they're playing so let's hit compute Give it a second and you can see it's at 425 eastern time and we can also ask what day so across the board because i've uh, now come back in a second um across the board because i've converted my data and you see it's on september the 12th because i've converted my data into english textual form that whole data set is queryable, and I could I could increase it, right? I put one week in there, but I could put all sixteen weeks in if I if I wanted to. But you can see it's it's picking up some pretty cool stuff. So again, I, if I wanted to know what stadium, there you go. The Atlanta Falcons are playing the Eagles in Atlanta, Mercedes Benz. So I can say what stadium is the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, da, 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 Philadelphia playing at in week one, hit compute, and it should be coming back with the Mercedes Benz Stadium in this case. Give it a second. And it does, it comes back with the Mercedes Benz Stadium. This is a super powerful technique, as I said, right? Just imagine the data that you've got, the data in your databases. We've said bank statements as an example, we've said direct debits. You could do the same for insurances, booking, scheduling, anything you hold data for, you could be using this exact same technique, which is take the data out, convert it into some sort of English format, right? Add some context, you can pull data from multiple sources, make it a sort of English essay type thing, and then be able to run question and answer models over the top, provide chatbot capabilities, really interesting technique. And again, it's something that you should go and, and sort of play with. And of course, as, as we've sort of seen in previously, if I wanted to then, uh, run that in something like Python, I could very quickly, let me just close this, I could open up my Q&A uh, &A example be or before, or if I wanted, I could just really quickly um, type it up. So if I just do new notebook here for a second, we'll do exactly what we did in our previous video. We could just install the uh, Hugging Face uh, Transformers library like we did last time, we just hit pip install. Um, that's gonna install the Transformers library. And then what we can very do, very quickly do is uh, code up a brand new um, uh, question and answer model. So we type in uh, from Transformers, uh, you know, import. We'll use the pipeline uh, libraries uh, as we did before. Um, again, in my previous video, I'm sure it comes up in, uh, on the top right hand corner, then we look at how you can use that with something like TensorFlow and then in future videos we'll look at how we can sort of embed this with JavaScript as well. But, you know, I, I will show you this working with uh, Python. Again, you can use that today. And then I can just answer, ask questions. So if I do a question answerer um, and we'll say pipeline, we'll just set that to uh, pipeline. Um, question, my typing is terrible, question answering. And this is using the sort of pre-built uh, uh, functions that they've got, which take away a lot of comp complexity. Yep, so what I'm gonna do now is just set the context, which is gonna be the text that I've just copied from over there. So we'll just set that in here. And that is basically all of the in week one, in week two, etc. And all we're gonna do now is we're gonna ask a very quick question of the routine. So in our case, what we will do is ask it, who are the Dallas Cowboys playing in week one? So we'll say question is 
equal to uh, who are the Dallas Cowboys playing in week one? We'll set the context equal to the uh, to the context that we set before, and then all we will do is we will print out the result. And if I hit the play button, it'll take a second, and it should be coming back with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, which it does, and that is it working and of course if you wanted to use a different model or if you wanted to then start and testing it against tensorflow so that you can then pull that into tensorflow in your microservices later then see my other video on how you can test out uh, different model types um, in the python notebooks so anyway that has been our video i hope you think this is a super great technique and i hope you uh, pick that up and start using it for your own use cases. I can think of a ton of use cases. I'm sure you can too. Anyway, I will catch you soon in the next video. Thank you. Goodbye.